Hi all, welcome to another Dave Downey Fly Tying video production. Here I'll be sharing my favourite flies and methods of tying them to make catching fish better for you anglers around the world and also making tying these flies easier with my styles and techniques. All the flies that I tie are personal use and they're designed to catch fish, not the angler. And at the end of each of the videos there'll be a wee list of materials required to tie the flies just in case you missed it in the video. And also I'll link to my online shop where you can purchase the flies and the materials required to tie these killer patterns. I hope you enjoy the videos and I hope you'll pass on to your fishing pals about my channel. Get them to come and have a look. Maybe they'll stay, maybe they won't. Uh, but today I'll be tying a yellow headed cruncher. Which, it's a cruncher but it's not a cruncher. But for me it works very very well. And it's done fantastically well for me on lakes of Rutland and Grafham and places like that. So I've got a heavyweight champ hook and a vice a size 10. Okay, so it's good hook, barbless. Everything's going barbless nowadays, so you know you you, you tend to have to go with the flow. We're using UTC Chartreuse 70 for our thread. We're going to use some silver wire. That's Fenriard's French silver wire. We're going to use some peacock herald. Now I'm using a red peacock herald. I've dyed the, the eyes obviously red but see to be honest it's a herald down here I'm going to be using and it's got a red tinge off of it. It's not pure red. It's very very difficult to dye peacock pure red. It never happens because you've always got that green stuff and we're going to need a decent hackle. I, I use these so it's a furnace. Uh, these are actual uh, Mets ones. Hens. So we're using a, a hen furnace. So let's get started. So we'll just tie in here. We're going to get down the hook shank. Right. And then what we're going to use for the tail. Uh, we're going to use the furnace stuff. So we need a bigger feather. So I've got quite a big, and I obviously want it with the red tips, so we're going to take that off, tie that in, okay, tie that in there, and just make sure it's sitting right before we go forward. Then we're going to need some silver wire. Now I fished this pattern on Rutland a few years back, I was out in the boat with a French guy, uh, and the fish started moving. For not very long, but they did start moving, and I, I basically bagged up, had my 10 fish in jig time. I was getting double headers and everything fishing the, the, this fly. Uh, so just tie that in, and it, it works well for me on the lake of my teeth as well when I'm buzzer fishing or whatever. I mean, I always like to have one of these on somewhere uh, or some in between two boobies, doesn't really matter, you know, if I'm fishing the midge tip with a candy and a cat booby. I'll have one of these in the middle or I'll have some kind of buzzer in the middle. So I'm wanting two pieces of peacock herald. Now most crunchers are tied with cock pheasant, right? I tie mine with peacock herald, I like it with peacock herald. So I'm going to go up the, the, the shank and come back down. Then we're going to put some varnish on the hook shank. Then what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the peacock herald around the thread. And that gives it more strength. So I'm just winding it round the thread. Right, just keep going. Doesn't have to be really, really tight. Just get it on the thread and that gives it that extra strength. Then we're just going to go forward. Holding the thread and holding the peacock herald. It's a dead simple fly, but it works. Right, and then when we're finished, just unfurl the peacock herald and tie it off. and just trim that away. Right, I'm going to give it a quick, quick finish and as you can see there in the video it's green but there is a tinge of red coming off of it. Peacock hell, you, you, you can't really dye it properly. So I'm going to trim that because I like it to be a bit more of a slimmer shape. So I'm actually make, leaving it a bit thicker up here and going back the way. Just giving it a wee haircut. Right, now we're just going to run the wire up. Right, 
I didn't like that, it was too far apart. Then there we go. Obviously the wire's going to help strengthen it as well. And just give it a shake and a shugle and it'll come off. So the last thing to do is just to put the hack on. I'm going to just take the flue off, tie it in. Trim that bit off. Right. I don't want to hackle too long. You know, as in length, I want it quite a shortish hackle, so it's almost just a wee bit bigger than the, the, the gate of the hook. Catch that in, pull it back. Two, three. That'll do. And just catch it in. Tidy it up. Snap that away, and then we're just going to tidy the head up. Now, it's a yellow headed cruncher, so it does need a head on it. So, we're going to build up a little head on it. Right. And that's it. Yellow headed cruncher. Great fly on the light of my teeth. Rutland, Grafham. Uh, never really tried it anywhere else but I've always used it it's always worked for me fishing on with a team of comrades you know uh, in the middle on a top dropper never fished it on a point not to say it won't work fish it in between a cat booby, candy booby but yeah it works and it'll catch you fish so really hope you enjoyed it guys I hope you're going to Subscribe, send me a message, tell me what you think, give me ideas, what you want me to do. I'm open to ideas. Uh, so you can subscribe, you can follow me on uh, Facebook, David C. Downey. You can follow me on Instagram, Dave Downey Fly Fishing. Check out my guiding site where you can get information on trips to Czech Republic, Poland, America. That's www.davedowneyfishing.com also for guiding in, in the UK, you know, I'm open for, I can run trips, uh, I can do stuff on Rutland, Grafham, I can guide in Scotland, uh, I can do corporate days, I can do coaching days, uh, if you need to learn how to fish, you can just give us a shout, if you want to get the materials and the flies, it's www.fly-fishingworld.com. So thanks for watching another Dave Downey Fly Time video production on this wet and windy day in Scotland. Uh, hopefully the weather changes soon and we can all get out and start enjoying our fishing. Tight lines guys, bye for now. Mm -hmm.